Today we're going to Fort Zachary Beach. Fort Zachary is in downtown Key West. It's one of the nicer beaches. This one, I think you pay, was it $8? Well, it's like For like a car? Oh, $2 per person, but I think it was a nice beach. We were gonna go sailing yesterday. We went to the marina at like 10, 15. When I checked the weather, when I woke up yesterday, it was like seven knots gusting at 12. And then we got there and it was 17 knots gusting at 22 so being still very new we kind of chickened out but i think i got a little bit of footage he dove under the boat at the marina to check what the hole looks like we saw the bottom of the boat for the first time counted how many through holes because next week we are hauling out the boat which i am excited for and very nervous then Last night we went to the Christmas boat parade, which I think I got a few clips on my phone. kind of a bust the water was extremely murky couldn't see anything and it's got kind of a strong current it's like actual waves last time I came here there were no waves and it was like really I don't know mellow to like just swim also it looks like there's a storm coming in so I guess it wasn't a good day to go sailing in <laughs> the day it's haul out day it is seven o'clock right now and we are headed to the boat yard Our original haul out time was 8.30, but then they told us that a boat was gonna come at 8.30. So our haul out time might be like 9, 9.30, so it's okay if we're late. Uh, Predict Wind says it's 16 knots right now, which is the most that I've ever docked and undocked before. And I think it was Towboat that said it was like gusting at 18. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas. Yay. Happy holidays. It's currently 67. It's just frigid. It is guys. cold, right? Yeah. You're wearing a little jacket. I was wearing a hoodie. like so nerve-wracking mooring the boat but we also didn't have anyone to throw lines to at the dock here less stressed now the wind was blowing 15 knots but it was blowing me onto the dock so I just kind of coasted in which was great I'm really glad that it wasn't coming from the opposite direction they're currently hauling out another boat we're next in line Beyond the ghost 
We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona I reach the mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for things I don't know Show me where the ending goes. Oh, bro, honest, it's not that bad. Honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last. We just left the boat yard. We went to West Marine to pick up some zincs for the prop. We didn't know which sizes that we needed, so we couldn't have that ahead of time. And then we picked up a car. We're gonna go home. <laughs> and then we're gonna head over to Home Depot real quick and get a sticker, like remover wheel, removes the boot stripe. I'm trying to chip away at it with a little scraper, but it's just not working. It's just not going to be super productive trying to scrape at it like that. We ended up getting on the chalks probably around like 10, 10.30. So they didn't haul us out until like probably like 9.30. Every time I moor the boat, I'm like so nauseously nervous, stressed out. It's so stressful mooring and unmooring the boat. But then the second we leave the moor, but the second we leave the dock, it's like, oh, that was easy. And the second we moor up, it's like, oh, that went well. And the thought of being out in the ocean, like actually sailing away from land is terrifying. But then you're out there and it's like, oh, this is pretty. It's so blue. It's so nice. It's like a roller coaster of emotions, like stressful to joy. Ugh. I was thinking this whole time, like the most stressful part was getting off the dock, mooring in an unfamiliar spot, hauling the boat out, but now getting ready to like actually do all the work, I'm like, shoot, that was the easy part. This is the hard part. It's gonna be a long few weeks. No.